in this video i will talk about mos logic family after that i will show you the, some characteristics of mos logic circuits mos logic family that means the logic circuits will be made of either p type mosfet or n type mosfet early generations of mos logic circuits are based on a single type of mosfet that means those logic circuits are made by using either p type mosfet or n type mosfet for example intel 4004 its chips are made by using p type mosfet and the subsequent microprocessor chips for example intel 8088 Motorola 6800 their chips are made by using n type mosfet only although all the current mos based designs are implemented by using complementary mosfet that means cmos which uses both p type mosfet and n type mosfet for its operation although mos logic circuits are obsolete technology you will find the application of pmos or nmos logic circuits in many advanced cmos technology therefore i will show you some characteristics and the operation of p type and n type mos logic circuits okay now let me talk about the characteristics of mos logic circuit first point is packaging density what is packaging density packaging density indicates how many active devices we can incorporate in a single chip okay and the mos logic circuits have high packaging density that's why it is compatible for large scale integration or LSI technology LSI technology that means i can incorporate around 100 to 1000 active devices or active mos logic circuits in a single chip therefore you will find the application of mos logic circuits in calculator chip microprocessor and microcontroller that are using LSI technology okay second point is operating speed or propagation delay usually mos logic circuits have high output impedance because of that it has large propagation delay and the propagation delay of mos logic circuits are around 50 nano second third point is process complexity process complexity indicates how many elements we have to fabricate for in a single logic circuit see the mos logic circuits will use either pmos or nmos for its logical operation we will not use any resistor diode or capacitor to build the mos logic circuits therefore you will see it will be easier for us to fabricate mos logic circuits number 4 power dissipation power dissipation is the amount of power drawn by the logic circuit from the source to perform desired logical operation here we are talking about metal oxide semiconductor devices and the mos structure will use gate dielectric or oxide due to this oxide layer you will see our mos devices will provide a very high input resistance and that will be on the order of 10 to the power 12 ohm see the input resistance is very high in case of any metal oxide semiconductor structure therefore we will get a very small current at the input side of the mos device a small current that means our mos devices will consume very low power for its logical operation
Number 4. Noise margin. Noise margin indicates the capability of any logic family or logic circuit to withstand against it. See, the noise margin of most logic circuits are around 1 volt. That means the most logic circuits can withstand any noise voltage 1 volt or less than 1 volt. Number 6 fan out what is fan out of a logic circuit fan out indicates the maximum number of digital inputs that can be connected to the output of a logic circuit or logic gate without hampering its normal operation the fan out capabilities of a MOS logic circuit should be infinity because of its high input resistance and i have told you that input resistance will be in the order of 10 to the power 12 ohm but with the increase of unit load the capacitance at the output side will also increase therefore the charging time will also increase so the fan out of a MOS logic circuit is limited to only 50 so the maximum number of digital inputs that can be connected to the output terminal of a MOS logic gate will be 50 maximum okay that's it thank you